Hey everyone, welcome day 45 of the 90 day e-com challenge. It's Peter Sorensen here coming at you from one of the offices here at Techademics campus, Techademics headquarters. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is again Peter Sorensen, uh, you know, working with Chris Record for many, many years, uh, doing VP of sales and I was kind of head affiliate relations as well for Techademics. And in this video, uh, in this training, we're day 45, right? So. Literally, we are halfway through the 90-day e-com challenge. Now, for many of you, you guys have been uh, following us since day one of the challenge. For some of you watching this uh, this training, whether live or on the recording, you know maybe you're quote unquote only been doing the challenge for a month or 15 days or 22 days or whatever the case may be. But in general, you know, if you've been following along, if you go kind of through the process, we're now halfway through the 90-day e-com challenge. And so it got me thinking. You know, Chris Record said, "Hey, Peter, why don't you go?" go and hop out today in the group and share kind of the right focus, the right mindset of what it takes to make sure you're maximizing your 90 day e-com challenge to get you in position to hit the benchmarks, to hit the hundred dollars in sales, thousand dollars in sales, and then eventually $10,000 in sales. And really, again, how to have the proper mindset for success. What are the things that, you know, I've seen over the number of years and doing things like this that what is the difference between successful people, people that have success, and success is really whatever you're committed to, achieving a goal, right? I look at success as you know you setting a goal and hitting it. To me, that's success, no matter what your goal is, because we all have different goals, we all have different aspirations, dreams, desires, we all have different things in life, right? You know, some of you guys, some maybe your goals is if you could just do ten thousand dollars in sales. You know, over the next several months, that might be good for you, right? Some people might hit an extra thousand dollars a month, or to you know, you know, whatever the case may be, might be good for you. So, know that whatever it is your goal, we, we're creating a benchmark, kind of like what we think is possible for anyone who really commits over, over a ninety day period, which is hundred dollars in sales, thousand dollars in sales, and ten thousand dollars in sales over the course of ninety days. Okay, and here's why we did this. Uh, and, and you might be thinking, well, man, Peter, I, I've been doing this, and you know, maybe I'm struggling. You're struggling to to just get your first hundred dollars in sales, and you're already halfway through the challenge. You're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to go from a hundred dollars in sales to ten thousand dollars in sales in forty five days? Well, again, what you need to understand that is, it's building your foundation, right? In the beginning, we talked about this in day forty four yesterday with uh, Chris Record and, and one of our friends, Leon Klasky, about. You're in the beginning, you're buying data, being willing to invest, being willing to figure it out. You know, uh, I share time and time again that you know for years, I struggled, uh, you know, to 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 make good income in my business. Uh, I while I was investing thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars into my education, right? Investing into myself. Well, if you're running Facebook ads, you are investing into your education of Facebook. Right, you're not only investing, obviously, in, in in advertising, marketing dollars, right, for your business, but more importantly, you are investing into your education, into developing the skill sets of how to run effective Facebook ads, right, to sell products on your Shopify store. It's the same difference whether it's on the product research side, whether it's Facebook ads, whether it's any really aspect of any business, you're investing into yourself. And here's the thing: I want you to realize for those of you that you know aren't where you want to be, so to speak. Okay. First off, I want you to, to understand this distinction: is never compare yourself to anyone else. I want you to really get this. Never compare yourself to anyone else. You are going to see screenshots of people just crushing and making thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, whatever the case may be. And if you're just getting started, if you're brand new, understand this. Everyone's journey is different. You are on your own journey. You are on your own learning curve. You have your own set of uh, circumstances and challenges and, and things maybe going on in your life. And maybe one person you know, that's posting you know, a $10,000 screenshot, uh, you, you may, what you may not be knowing is maybe they struggled for the last six months. Or maybe they're putting in 10 hours a day and you're only putting in an hour or two. You, you have to understand there's always a story behind the story. So let the the positive success that you see inspire you, right? Don't let it discourage you. Don't compare yourself if you're not there. Let it inspire you and say, how can I learn from this? How can I take the trainings and support that I'm getting here, the 90 Day Ecom Challenge, and get a little bit better every single day? Get a little bit better every week, right? And sales, sales revenue is just one of many metrics to judge that on, right? Another metric that's not sales is okay, are you getting traffic to your, you know, are you getting leads, right? Are you, are you getting people to abandon the, uh, the call? 
apart. That's value, all right? Another, another distinction can be, you know, how many people are you just getting to your website? Are you getting to your store, right? That is another metric. Even if you're not making sales yet, that is a metric that you can look at is are you getting traffic to your store, right? Uh, you know, how about this? Are you just running ads? Are you actually running the ads? Are you taking action and, and beginning to invest in yourself, invest in your business, investing in getting data from Facebook by running ads? Are you going through the training, right? It's every single day, are you learning something new? Are you going through our daily training, right? If you're right, as of right now, or again, we're halfway through the 90 day challenge. Now, we don't have to do daily training, right? Maybe in the future we, we, we won't. We don't have to give this away for free. Maybe in the future we'll charge for it. But right now, you have the opportunity. If you're watching this video right now, live and recording inside the 90 day ecom challenge, inside of our private group on Facebook, you're getting this training completely free. So take advantage of it, right? And like I've said before, treat this like you invested 10 grand. Right? Treat this like you invested in a ten, like a $10,000 mastermind, okay? Treat the 90 day e-com challenge like you invested 10 grand into it and you've gotta make it work for you, right? Like treat it as if you invested 10 grand and then in your first 90 days, you're gonna get $10,000 in sales in your business, right? In your first year, you're gonna go try to do $100,000 in sales in your business. That should be, that is the type of goal, that is the type of success we want to help create for all of you guys inside the 90 day ecom challenge. Now here's the thing, I, I share this, so number one, don't compare yourself to any other people. Let the success of others inspire you, not demotivate you, and here's how I, why I say that, because I know how the human brain works. I am guilty of it myself. I might see someone and say, having massive success, and be like, man, if they, I'll say, if they can do it, I can do it, that's the positive side, but sometimes the tricky little mind will say, well, why aren't you doing it, Peter? Or, you know, you, you can do it just as good, what's going on, why, you know? You know, there'd be something, some little mind trick that's a negative thought. And when you see that, when you feel that, when you hear that, you've gotta become conscious of it and re rewire your brain. You gotta rewire the brain to say, you know what? I'm not gonna let this discourage me, but in fact, I'm gonna let this inspire me. If he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. You know what? I'm, you know, I'm gonna commit to being the best version of myself. I'm gonna commit to learning something new every day and taking action on what I'm learning. I'm gonna commit on a daily basis, on a weekly basis to take new actions. I'm gonna commit to running ads. I'm gonna commit to looking at my data. I'm gonna commit to doing what's called correct and continue. Write that down if you're taking notes. Everything in business, you are constantly correcting and continuing. Another way of saying that is course correction, right? Uh, the classic analogy is the rocket ship. The rocket ship, you know, or a plane flight, right? In flight, a plane going from, you know, I just got back from uh, Los Angeles for the weekend. We flew from Los Angeles back to Scottsdale. Well, along that flight from Los Angeles to Scottsdale, the, the plane is constantly correcting. It's virtually never on direct course, right? It's constantly course correcting, and eventually it's gonna get to the destination Scottsdale. That is just like your business. Your business is constantly course correcting. It's never gonna be a straight path to success. It's never going to be super easy. You have to embrace the struggle. You have to embrace the grind. You have to embrace the fact of challenges and circumstances. You have to embrace the fact that things are gonna change. Facebook's gonna change. Their back office is gonna change. The ads manager is gonna change. Power editor is gonna change. Your products are gonna change. Uh, you know, the trends are gonna change. Shopify is gonna change. Everything is going to change because, guess the, get this, change is constant. We live in a universe that is changed. The nature of life is change, okay? So again, if you have the right principles, the right understanding and mindset, this is going to help you navigate in the strategies that you're applying, okay? You have to understand that there's mechanics and there's the mindset. Mindset is your foundation. Mindset is the root, so to speak, right? If there's a big tree, how does that tree become a big, strong tree? It's from the roots, right? It's the roots of the tree on the fruit tree that create the fruits. I'm gonna say that again, it's the roots that create the fruits. So the 80% is the mindset. And the mindset is not just positive thinking or something, but it's having the right frame, it's having the right paradigm, it's having, it's having the understanding of accepting change, having the understanding of being willing to conquer your fears, being willing to take massive action despite not knowing, okay? Many of you might think, well, Chris has got to figure it out or all these people having success, they've got it figured out, they know everything. No, they don't. They're learning 
and taking action just like you, right? The only difference between someone that's having success and maybe yourself, if you're not having the success, quote unquote, that you want, is A, they've been probably maybe doing a little bit longer, and you know, B, they've been taking more action than you, and C, they think differently. And probably the most important and most uh, common is they think differently. They think differently about challenge. They think differently about change. They understand that they are becoming adaptable, okay? Techademics, you know, uh, for example, we are becoming adaptable. We are getting ready to launch some massive, massive initiatives, some change, right? Okay, we are changing, we are evolving, we are learning. You know, we are learning even inside the 90 day e-com challenge. We're, th we're learning from ways that things that we're doing good. We're learning uh, how we can improve and get better. We're learning that, you know, not, you know, sometimes the 90 days can feel overwhelming, right? Daily training can feel overwhelming. So we get that. Maybe in the future we move to weekly training. Okay, I don't know. But the, the reality is we are a product of the product. What I'm saying is we are learning, we are adapting, and we understand that change is inevitable. You do something, okay? You run an ad, you get some data, AK feedback. That feedback is gonna help you course correct. That feedback of, well, shoot, I'm getting traffic, um, you know, but no one's clicking to buy. Or the next step is I'm getting traffic, People are clicking to buy, but I'm having a really abnormally high, let's say, abandoned cart ratio. Pretty much, I'm not getting sales. I'm getting people to that process, but they're not buying, okay? Or maybe, you know, they are buying, right? You're getting some sales. You're starting to get some sales of a product. You, you know, start pick, getting your pixel, getting those sales so that you can get Facebook to work for you smarter. And now maybe you need to scale up. So being halfway through the challenge, here's what I want you to say. Here's what I want to share with you. No matter where you're at, whether you're just getting started and you haven't even cracked the $100 sales mark, or maybe you're in somewhere in between the $100 to $1,000 sales mark, okay? Understand that success is generally not like this. It's not like, you know, you're just going along, you're going along, you're going along, you're going along. Here's what ends up happening, okay? Especially in your sales and your business. You're like struggling, make a sale, and then you're making this like $100 in sales, struggle, kind of struggle, struggle, and then boom, you're making 1,000, Kind of, yeah, it's kind of going along and crack the code, you get a hot selling product, boom, scale up to over 10,000. That's more likely. So meaning, you might be struggling for a while, just tough to make sales, and all of a sudden, you can just get this skyrocket. You get a product that hits Facebook, your pixel starts maturing, you start crushing out sales, and all of a sudden, it's this like S-curve, right? That's, what's, that's what happens. So don't get discouraged if you haven't hit that curve, right? You haven't hit that momentum curve. And that's why, we set the goals of where we did because what will happen is we set those 10x benchmarks of 100,000, 10,000 because that's how it works. It works like this. It doesn't work like 100 to 200 to 300 to 400 to 500 to 600. That, like, it doesn't work like that kind of slow linear line. What happens is you'll have that little linear line and then you get a boom like this, right? And then it'll probably drop back off. And then you gotta course correct and continue. Maybe you gotta find a different product. Maybe you gotta expand your market to the product that you're selling to. That is what ends up happening. So within this roller coaster journey, right? It's the roller coaster journey of entrepreneurship. It's the roller coaster journey of having a Shopify business, okay? Uh, it's the journey. You have to understand the roller coaster. So understand this. When you're in that roller coaster, the key is what is your trajectory? Are you trajecting up? Meaning, are you doing the daily disciplines of learning, taking actions, running your ads? Are you doing the daily disciplines, product resource, finding hot products, testing, scaling them out? Are you doing those things that you know over time, if you're consistent with it, you will hit your curve, right? You will hit your S curve, it will happen for you. The challenge is the mindset, having the right mindset to not quit, right? All too happens, we know, which is why we set a 90 day challenge, we know at 90 days, people are either basically start to succeed and be committed or they quit. This is human nature, it doesn't matter what it is. Whether it's running a Shopify business, whether it's uh, like me, you know, working on being healthy and dropping weight, whether it's a 90 day fitness challenge, a 90 day business challenge, a 90 day, you know, pray and meditate challenge, the human beings, most human beings, you know, won't commit to doing something for 90 days. And we know if they do, if we do commit and we go through 90 days of something, we create a habit, we create a system, right? We create the mechanics. 
You know, I'm coming on 90 days. Uh, this week, actually, my first 90 days, I'm really get, getting serious about my health, for instance, right? And, you know, I've gone through kind of little 90 day health challenges before and gained weight and lost weight and, and all that stuff. But the first time in my life, he said, you know what? It's not going to just be a 90 day challenge for me, it's going to be a life challenge. I'm committed for the rest of my life of getting in great shape and getting great health, right? So I'm embarking on my first 90 days, which is ending actually this week. Uh, you know, and I'm shooting for being down about 25 pounds by the end of this week in my first 90 days. And I'm not gonna just stop there, right? I've created a habit of overall healthier living, and I'm gonna continue that habit for another 90 days, and then another 90 days, and another year, and two years, and 10 years, and 20 years, and 50 years, right? That's how you have to think with your business. So use the 90 day ch challenge as a way to kind of get you going, to get you inspired, to get you on the fast track, right? The 90 day e-com challenge to help you kind of motivate you, train you, support you, motivate you, give you some additional resources, uh, give you support, give you training, uh, and give you some fuel to the fire with the bonus incentives we have, right? The fact that you know, you should be doing this anyways for yourself and your business, but on top of that, we're gonna give you the chance to win a trip to Bora Bora, we're gonna give you a chance to win 20 grand cash, and we're gonna give you a chance to win a 1968 Chevy Camaro, right? Pretty cool. If you're at our live conference in August, uh, by the way, August 25th through the 27th, we have our big conference out here in Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona, and at our live conference, we're gonna recognize all of you that are hitting $100 benchmarks, $1,000 benchmarks, and $10,000 benchmarks, and you have a chance to win those, those prizes, okay? So I want you to make sure that you, know, you leverage this, but it's not just 90 days, okay? It's what is your goal a year from now, two years from now? What if you didn't make any sales in 90 days? But then the next 90 days, you did $10,000 in sales. Would it be worth it? Would it be worth the daily sacrifice and investing in yourself? What if it took you a year to make $10,000 in sales, but then the second year you did multiple six figures? Guess what? That happens. I've seen that. We've seen people time and time again. Maybe they struggle for 90 days, six months, and next thing you know, out of nowhere, they figure it out. They crack the code. They find a hot product, and next thing you know, they're doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales. Okay? This is what's possible. And this happens, right? We have tons of people in our community that are doing tens of thousands of dollars of sales, even hundreds of thousands of dollars of sales in a single month, right? So let that inspire you, not discourage you. Don't compare yourself to them. Know that you're on your own journey, right? But you can learn from them. You can model from success. You know, one of my mentors always said, learn to admire and model rich and successful people. Okay. Half that is your mantra. See, you know, I admire and model rich and successful people, right? I let successful people, uh, you know, and again, rich, successful, these terms, they're all relative, right? They're all relative. Uh, you know, success is what is, is important for you. Success is, you know, the goals you set for yourself and hitting those goals, right? But know that you're investing in yourself, learning the skill sets, skill set of how to sell anything to anyone at any time from anywhere. I want you to really get this. The core, right? The core value above money, above inside the 90 day e-com challenge, you are learning the skill sets to sell anything to anyone from anywhere in the world at any time. I want you to get that. That is powerful. This is how you can create a laptop lifestyle you know, for yourself. This is how I was able to move to Costa Rica and live in the beaches of the world, accomplish one of my life dreams a few years ago, live down there for six months with a buddy of mine, Arthur Tubman, uh, you know, because I learned this, some of the skill sets of online marketing and sales. I learned some of the skill sets of, of affiliate marketing. Selling on Shopify stores and e-commerce is no difference. It's affiliate marketing. Right? The difference is you're selling a physical product versus maybe a digital product. But fundamentally, there's two ways to make money online. You're either selling physical products or digital products. And the, one of the fastest ways to do that is by being an affiliate or AKA reseller, right? Where you're not the product creator or you're not manufacturing the product. You're not shipping the product. You're not handling you know, all of the stuff. You are the middleman or middle woman, so to speak, you know, sourcing wholesale products right, and finding the retail buyers that come to your store to buy them, right, and the drop shipper ships the product, right, so you are that middleman or middle woman. This business model has been going on for ages. It will always be, right, no matter what the technology is, no matter what the trends are, one of the best ways to make money is be a middleman, middle, middle woman, right, 
broker yourself between buyers and sellers. The seller in this case is the drop shippers. You're sourcing from China or print on demand. That's the seller, right? You're brokering yourself in the middle. You're positioning yourself in the middle and you're going out there and finding those buyers. You're finding the end retail buyers. And this business model is in any business in any industry. There will always be an opportunity for someone that's willing to do the work, put those, you know, those parties together, so to speak, and you're the middle person, all right? So understand that as we go through, go the, through the 90 day challenge, as we go through the, the second half of the 90 day e-com challenge, that you, again, you have the right mindset that you, you, you focus on what are your goals. You get clear and you get honest with yourself. We're setting the benchmark for you for the masses that you know, we understand that we believe it's possible for anyone in 90 days to go from literally zero to $10,000 in sales, okay? We have those benchmarks for our contests, for our, incentive, our incentives, right? 100, 1,000, 10,000, $100 incentive for the bonus pool to be able to win a trip to Bora Bora, 1,000 to be able to win 20 grand cash, and uh, the 10,000, a $60,000, 68 Chevy muscle car, all right? So that is our overall benchmark, but what is your benchmark? What is your goal? Some of you guys that are already, you know, maybe you've had a little bit of success, maybe your 90, 90 day goal is $100,000 in sales. Right? Maybe some of your guys' 90 day goal is not even $10,000 in sales. Maybe that's so far fetched for you to think, right? I want to encourage you to stretch to at least the 10,000 and believe it's possible. I want to encourage you that it is possible, right? But what is your committed goal? What's your, you know what? No matter what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit this amount in sales. I'm going to do whatever it takes to be there on stage at our conference in, in, in August. I'm going to be there. I'm going to get recognized. I'm going to have the chance to win. Okay. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit all those buckets. I'm going to hit the hundred thousand, the hundred mark, the thousand mark, the 10,000 mark, right? Maybe some of you guys are getting started. Maybe like, yeah, shoot, you know, I just learned about this. Maybe you're, Maybe you're hearing about the 90 day e-com challenge a few weeks before a conference. You know, maybe just you getting to the first and second benchmarks would be a ma ma massive success. Whatever the case is, whatever your goal is, commit to it, right? A goal can only be achieved when you fully commit. You know, one of my mentors said, you know, a long time ago, he says, Peter, 99% commitment, you fail. 99% you fail, 100% you succeed, right? It's that 1%, it's that slight edge. Are you fully committed? Are you all in mentally, emotionally, financially? Are you all in, right? We're not asking a lot from you. We're mostly right now in the 90 Day Ecom Challenge just asking you to, to, to take action and when you get some success, give us a testimonial, right? We're not asking for a ton of money. We're not asking for thousands of dollars. We're asking, hey, have a Shopify store. We got you hooked up. 50% off for your first three months. It's absolutely no brainer, right? $79 plans, only $39.50 a month. So we're basically saying, hey, get set up. We're gonna support you, we're gonna train you, and then when you have success, give us a testimonial, because maybe down the line, we'll sell the, we'll sell the 90 day e-com challenge for money. Maybe you're watching this and you paid, and totally cool, you should pay. This is worth <laughs> thousands, you know? You're getting it for practically nothing, right? So. Again, have the right understanding. Uh, for those of you who might be wondering, now, who is Peter's mentor? I've had many, many mentors, okay? Chris Record is one of my mentors. Jim Piccolo, you know, is one of my mentors. The founders of Techademics. Uh, so many people are my mentors. I treat that anyone can be my mentor because I'm a student. And as a student, you can always learn. Okay, T. Harbecker is one of my mentors for many, many years. I did a lot of trainings with him. Wallace Waddles, the author of Science of Getting Rich, uh, who wrote the book in 1910, who's obviously not alive. He's one of my mentors, right? Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich, is one of my mentors. Who are your mentors, all right? Who are you learning from? Whether they're present, alive, whether you know them or not, it doesn't matter. They can all be your mentors. They can all be in your mastermind, right? And I challenge you and encourage you to have mentors in different areas of life, right? You don't have to have one mentor for everything. Right? You can have different mentors for different facets of life and different facets for your business. Over so in e-commerce, there's Facebook ads and we have so many people in this community that are contributing to help you with Facebook advertising, to help you with print on demand, to help you with sourcing products, to help you with scaling your business, to helping you to have the right mindset. Right? There's different mentors, there's different areas of your business to be able to focus on and what I wanna encourage you is to be able to pay it forward so that as you have success, that you pay it forward, that you're willing to contribute
create and you step up and say, you know what, I love to train the group of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge. And I encourage you and I challenge you guys as well. If you're out there having success, if you're watching this training and you're hitting your benchmarks, you're, you're doing even maybe your first $100 sales and you learned something that was the code for you, let us know, share that testimonial. If you're hitting a thousand, ten thousand dollars in sales, if you're hitting over ten grand in sales, let us know. Come out and training. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to, you know, have you give back to the community that's given to you, right? So pay it forward. So as you start having success, be willing to pay it forward. Reach out to us. Reach out to Chris. Reach out to myself. And we would love to hear from you. We'd love to showcase you and spotlight you inside the 90 Day Ecom Challenge so that your story and that your success can inspire other people in the group, right? And we can share some tips and some strategies that have helped you scale up your business to $10,000 in sales, right? That I wanted to you know, come out today and just really know, let you know that number one, that you, you're appreciated. You know, number two, that you're valuable, that we appreciate you, we value you, and that we want to inspire you to make it happen, to go out there and take massive action and get results in your business. Come meet us at our August conference. Very, very soon we're gonna share details on that and share the opportunity for you to get tickets to that for next to nothing. It's gonna be really, really powerful. I have a three-day action-packed training, uh, August uh, 25th through 27th. Do whatever it takes to be there, no matter what it takes, right? Do what it takes to get up to $10,000 in sales. And understand, even if you're starting right now, even if you're halfway through and you haven't even crossed $100 in sales, I want you to understand and believe and trust me and know that you can get to $10,000 in sales literally in the next 45 days. That you can scale something, that you can find the right product at the right time, you can scale it up. And understand this, it's not about the profits, guys. What if you did $10,000 in sales and you made no profit, you just broke even? Would it be worth it? Absolutely. Guys, not only would you have a chance to win a freaking 1968 muscle car, 20 grand cash and a trip to Bora Bora, but you would have buyers, a lot of buyers on your list that you can retarget, you can remarket to to buy other products. You would have a pixel that's getting seasoned, that Facebook's getting smarter that you can scale up with. All of these things are benefits. Even if you didn't make any money and for 90 days you just broke even, but you got $10,000 of sales, that could be worth tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next 12 months. So I need you to understand that, have the right mindset. In the beginning, it's not about getting rich. It's about learning, it's about getting data, it's about getting buyers, breaking even, and then scaling up with profits. Learning, right? Getting that data getting buyers, right? Then scaling up as you have success and as you're getting those buyers. That's the process, that's the journey. And the, that's the journey of profits, right? So understand that journey from nothing to eventually the big profits and be okay with, you know, even if you're starting at a loss. Because what happens is, your losses only prepare you for the major wins that more than pay for the losses, right? It's having that right mindset, developing that skill set to market and sell anything to anyone from anywhere in the world to anyone from anywhere in the world, right? When you develop that skill set, you're gonna have a skill set to be able to create money out of thin air for the rest of your life. No matter what the trends are, no matter what the industry is, no matter what's hot, you will have the skill set, the strategies, right? The right mindset to where you can create resources out of thin air for the rest of your life. You can write your own paycheck because as a digital marketer, as an internet marketer, as an entrepreneur, developing the sales, advertising, and marketing skill sets, you can be able to create resources out of thin air for the rest of your life. That is what's so powerful about the 90 Day Ecom Challenge. Okay, that is what's so powerful. So I hope you guys have uh, been enjoying this training. Again, Peter Sorensen coming at you from Techademics headquarters and campus here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, you can see in the back here, it's our loft classroom. Uh, June 26th through the 30th, we have our next Tech Week five-day live training. Some cool things coming out that uh, about that very, very soon. And again, I wanna encourage you guys, we're halfway through the challenge. Don't quit, don't give up. Double down, focus, focus on what your goals are, commit to achieving them, commit to doing the income producing activities that are going to eventually get there. Understand that it is a roller coaster journey. Be okay with change, be okay with making sure you course correct, right? That you correct and continue. Understand that people's success are there to inspire you. 
Don't compare yourself to them, but understand that they're there to inspire you to say, if he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. Maybe it doesn't take, you know, maybe it doesn't take me 90 days. Maybe it takes me a year. That's okay. Right? Right now I'm on a fitness challenge and I'm, I, you know, I got inspired by a buddy of mine, Justin, if you're watching. Justin is someone that inspired me. He started crushing out massive results. Now, Justin is just a freaking nature. The results he crushed out in 90 days are just next level, right? I'm letting his results inspire me, but guess what? The goals I'm setting for myself, I'm not saying, well, I have to look like him in 90 days. No, I'm saying to myself, shoot, what if it took me a year? That's okay. If I, if I commit to the next year to getting that foundational level of success for my health and my fitness and my body, that's a massive transformation because I took the first 30 plus years of my life or the last decade of my life to get to where, my, where I'm at now. If I get to a next level in the next 12 months, that would be insane. Right? So I'm using his uh, as success to inspire me, but I'm not saying I need to get to that same level of success in 90 days. I'm creating my own goals that are a challenge for me, that are a stretch for me, but you know what? That I believe I can do it. So have goals that challenge you, have goals that stretch you, and at the same time have goals that you believe you can actually achieve, right? Following our systems, following up our trainings, okay? So that being said, guys, Peter Sorensen, uh, day 45, we're halfway through the challenge. Double down, keep going, take massive actions, and as you start experiencing success, no matter what it is, we want to hear from you. We want to see it. Share your testimonials. Share your screenshots. And uh, you know, if you're really going out there and crushing it, doing over ten thousand dollars in sales, uh, reach out to us. We'd love to feature you in one of our trainings inside the 90 Day Ecom Challenge. Okay. So uh, that being said, Peter Sorensen saying sign, signing off for now. Take massive action. And we will see you soon in the next uh, 90 Day Ecom Challenge training video. Take care.